Hello, everyone. This is Winter. 欢迎大家收听今天的早安英文 Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's morning English. This is Hugo. This episode is about how to say you're excited about something. Hey, Hugo. That's right. So these expressions should help you to talk about hobbies or events that excite you or excite others. And everyone gets excited about something, don't they? So try to think of a hobby of yours. You know, one that gets your heart racing. That's our first one straight away. What gets your heart racing? 什么会让你激动的心跳加速呢？今天啊，其实我们就是要来教教大家怎么样可以表达自己非常激动、兴奋的心情。Well, Hugo, I think you're right. Everyone certainly gets excited about something. For me, one thing that I really get into and get excited about is movies. Oh, nice. So I guess you like to go to the cinema and catch. New film releases, right? I try to as much as possible, yeah. But yeah, at this work, there just isn't that time. <laughs> okay, well, so what kind of movies catch your interest, and like, what gets you excited? Well, it can vary, and I don't always like action hero movies. But there was one pretty good Marvel movie I saw a few years back called Batman: Dark Knight. It really got my heart racing, and I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. You know what? It wasn't a Marvel movie, but anyway, it was that kind of movie, like action style. Okay, I saw the same film. I think it really does have you on the edge of your seat, like a real nail-biting film, as they say. Right, I got the word nail-biting. Nail is, um, 手指甲，对吧？然后 biting bite 就是咬，咬手指甲，什么意思呢？就是很紧张，就是我们人很紧张的时候，不是会下意识的有时候会咬手指嘛，所以就是表示很紧张、扣人心弦的意思。Nail biting, a real nail biting film. 还有我们刚刚讲到的另外一个表达叫做 on the edge of your seat. Edge 就是这个边缘，那座位的边缘。其实大家想象一下这个动作，就是你都已经坐到这个椅子的边边上了，就是很激动，马上就要站起来的那种状态。就是很兴奋、很紧张的状态。Okay, well, you know that Batman movie really did cause a stir when it came out. I think the actor who played the role of the Joker was a great actor, but he died tragically right before the movie was released, and his character was played so perfectly. Yeah. Anyway, that was a really well-made movie. Cause a stir is 引起骚动、引起轰动的意思。Yeah, the actor was amazing. I heard he was a method actor. That means that all he did was thinking about acting and try to improve his technique. Every day, all he did was eat, sleep, and breathe acting.、Mm, yeah, I have never been so passionate about something. I mean, I really enjoy playing football, that kind of thing, but. I wouldn't say that I eat, sleep, and breathe it. Well, in my opinion, there are usually only a few who get really carried away with their work, so they usually get super good at that one thing and become a master. I guess it all comes down to enthusiasm. It is easy to get carried away with something. Yeah, it's a good point.、Uh, enthusiasm really is a key ingredient, I guess, and finding what you get excited about. Yeah, it's a pretty good starting point. Yeah, well, apart from watching movies, I find it just as fun to review movies too. So after I watch a film, I might open a word file on my computer and type out a quick little review about the film I watched. Ah, do you ever get carried away, or do you just keep it short? I usually keep it short, like around two to three paragraphs. But it's funny, there are a few movies that I really carried away reviewing. Like action movies, those ones that have you on the edge of your seat, I find that I write more about them, maybe two to three pages, because they were so much more exciting. I guess I just have more to say about them. Oh well, it sounds like you may make a fine movie reviewer one day. I'm not so sure about that. I just do, like you said, as a hobby of mine. I don't take it all that seriously. If I did, I'd probably lose the spark of interest. 就是我觉得，如果一个 hobby， 一个爱好，你太认真、太辛苦、太 seriously 的话，可能就会最后失去兴趣。那我们说对什么东西失去兴趣，就会用到这个表达 ，lose the spark of interest. So Hugo, how can you say do a little more? Like, 
do a little extra work. Um, a little extra work. Well, you could say、um, something like go the extra mile. Okay. Well, I was just thinking about a girl who I work with. She often goes the extra mile with her work, and I often think how she gets the inspiration to do that. But it just occurred to me that she probably loves the work more than the money, so she just goes the extra mile automatically. <laughs> yeah. Well. It would be cool to figure out how to do that more often.、Uh, then we would probably enjoy our work a bit more, wouldn't we? Well, there might be a way to do that. I got some good advice once: that if you notice what you pour your heart and soul into, then you will have find your life work. If you can do this, then you won't work a day in your life. We say, "Put all the blood and soul you have into a particular incident, and you will be able to use it." Pour your heart and soul into something. 就把你的 heart， 把你的心，把你的 soul， 你的灵魂，全部都一起放到这个事情当中，都投入进去。Okay, yeah, that sounds kind of idealistic, but yeah, it's good advice. I guess keeping an eye out for what really excites you is a good habit to have, right? Yes, definitely. Well, I think we've covered a few good expressions for talking about what excites, didn't we? Ah,、uh, we did, yeah. And I hope this is going to inspire everyone to keep searching for things that bring you to life and excite you. Well, everyone, and as for this now, thank you for listening. Bye, Hugo. Bye for now. Bye. This podcast is from Morning English. 学口语就来早安英文。